Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 14 of Exoria, a mod pack by DaftQuest. So in the last episode, I found that I got a lot done, I'm really happy about this. I built this enormous wall of resource so that I can put all of the resource that I get from my strainers. Uh, they're still not connected and it didn't matter quite as much because I'm out of strainers. I'm going to restart this in the time lapse of this episode, but for now, I'm going to leave it like that because I actually need a little break to be able to do a couple of things. My biggest achievement, the one I'm most happy of, is the automation of melting metals. So it's a real mess, it's disgusting, but let me show you. Basically, I have the resource being uh, filtered and brought here, and here I have tin, silver, lead, gold, and copper, because those are all metals that melt super fast. The proof is, look, this is almost empty and it's going super well. So everything melts and then we have this pump pumping everything out and we have the silver fluid pipe, which sorts everything. And then we have a tank for each. And this is where the nightmare begins. I need to go around. See, this tank is full of liquid silver. I have to go around to show you, but if you come back here, I rearranged everything so that all of those extract into their own metal caster. So I have these 38 lead ingot, I have these 26 gold ingot, I have these 48 iron ingot, got this 64 silver ingot and more are going to be made right now, and 210 ingot. So this is going really well resource wise and I'm going to have to move some of these things and for this whole thing here, I'm thinking of bringing everything underground and just moving everything so that it's nice. But that's going to be part of a future time lapse, not not just now because already I have too many things to do. So let me just check if I have, yeah, I have some more of these. I'm continuously making those because as you go further, you'll see that you still need ember. So let me just take a quick look here. I have to find my resource because today I'd like to get started with ember. And the reason I want to get started with ember is that one of the first quests of ember is called boring. Oh, it's it's still luck. So we need kamenite. So let's do some kamenite. Kamenite. So kamenite is very simple. It's sulfur, clay, and dust pile. So sulfur, clay, I don't have clay here. I know that I have sulfur because sulfur is one of those resources you get from sieving. I've got two clay here. That's not going to be a lot. Yeah, that's not even enough. Oh, two more here. And uh, nope, that's about it. But that's where the sulfur was. So I'm going to have to go back. So that's 16 clay. 16 clay. So I need 16 sulfur right here. Let's just grab 16 sulfur. Perfect. And now I need 32 dust piles. So what I'm going to do for the dust pile is just take a stack here and put back half a stack in here. I just want to make sure that this is still going well. Yeah. So I'm still good on that part. I'm going to have to refill that. And that's the part that I have left to automate. I still have to put these into their own places. So let's just craft this Kamenite that we need to. Um, Kamenite blend. Perfect. 64. That's not bad. We need some Kamenite brick. So that's easy enough. For Kamenite brick, you just put, let's just do eight right here. And then we need a Kamenite brick itself. So Kamenite brick is basically uh, this Kamenite blend coming into a brick and then the brick being made into Kamenite bricks like this. We're going to need a lot of these Kamenite bricks because if you see, the beam cannon needs one. The, um, huh, what else? Oh, I have a small time lag. Uh, the Inferno Forge. I don't know if I need that. The Ember Boar needs five. So just that basically we're going to need five. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So I made eight. You know what? I'm going to need to do a couple more. So let's start some more. Let's take these four. Let's get our brick just because that's going to finish a quest. Uh, hello, finish a quest. Oh, I didn't keep the Kamenite brick on me long enough. Now it finishes a quest. And that gives us the Ancient Codex. And the Ancient Codex is actually this cool book that explains you everything about Ember. There's a lot of detail missing though, but it's good enough to get you started. But that unlocked boring. As I venture deeper, 
I stumble across old mechanical constructs. These autonomous golems seem hostile, but stick close to the core of the world. I wonder if there's a reason for this, but they are at least very intriguing. It seems the archaic bricks they are made out of can be used to create some basic machine logic. I wonder what improved machine I can come up with. One of those golems said something about a rare resource at the low level of the cavern. He called it embers. I need to grind it out of the bedrock. I came up with a bore that gathers these ember shards from the bedrock. The design is not perfect, it needs some fuel and I need to pipe the embers out. But I can only access it from one side. This means I need to place a mechanical core above it to have more size accessible. So this basically is a five step quest where the first step wants us to get eight archaic brick and two archaic circuit. So if I look at bore, let's just look at the bore because it's going to be easy from this side. I need to craft a bore and a bore is these five caminite brick, two iron plate, a diamond pickaxe and a mechanical core. But the quest already tells us we need two of these. These are made from lead plate and item pipe and two archaic circuit, which is what we need. The archaic circuit are made out of four um, archaic brick each in a copper ingot. So that's the eight that we need. So everything seems to work hand in hand to get us to what we need. But the problem is that right now we don't have uh, any archaic brick. So one thing we're going to do quickly, I'm just going to go and take a chance. We're going to go back to the uh, core. Let me just check something first before I say something dumb. Uh, if I come back here, yeah, I need to find my sword first. Nope, that's a pump. The fact that it doesn't look like a sword makes it very hard to find when you're searching. I want to find my sword because I want to go back to the Exoria Underground. And in the Exoria Underground, I want to try to get some archaic brick. I need the eight to be able to move forward. So compacting drawer. Er, let's grab the stone hammer. Let's grab a stone excavator. Not sure we're going to need it. But let's grab it in case we need these torches, definitely. And I don't know where I put my ladders. Ladders are here. Let's grab the ladders. Let's max out on the torches. Still looking for that magic tool. I'm looking for my waystone and for my sword. So still haven't found my waystone or my sword. Nope, not this. Uh, still no waystone. Still no sword. Maybe in this chest up here of the tools? Nope. So maybe here? Nope. Still no sword here. Oh, yes, my flexible sword is here. This really weird visual bug makes it so hard to find what you want. So I have my ladder to climb down. I have my tools to climb down. I have my sword to fight. I have some food in case I get hurt. And was there anything else I wanted? Uh, I think not. Oh, yes, my waystone. Where's my waystone? I still need my waystone. And that's important because I need able to be able to warp back here. Oh, come on. I have no clue what I did with my waystone. And it shouldn't be that hard to find. So no waystone here. What about in here? Still no waystone. Maybe in here. No waystone. And here, still no waystone. Oh, come on. I have the Exoria artifact, but not the waystone. No waystone in here. And nope, not in here. No waystone in here. No waystone in here. Wow. This is borderline tragic. If I lost my waystone, I'm going to be in deep trouble. I don't even know if we can craft another waystone. I'm guessing yes, but still. Oh, I hate this. Not here, not here, not in this, and not in this. Okay. So I've literally seemed to have lost my waystone. So let's just look for waystone. Uh, no, it's not a waystone. Uh, let's search at waystone. It's called a warp stone, and I can do it with four rune around a pixie dust. So I don't know what happened to it, and you know, you guys know exactly what's going to happen. Ah, it's right here. 
I was going to say you guys know exactly what is going to happen. Once I don't need it anymore, I'm going to find it. So, let's go to the Exoria Underground right now. Perfect. So what I'm looking for, see, there are some mobs here. I can see some mobs. So, I'm pretty sure that these mobs are the, well, I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping that they are the mobs that I want. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to dig. Oh, yes, there's a tunnel back here. Oh, man, that is so dumb. There's actually a whole tunnel back here. And an arcade golem. I, they were just here. It's kind of incredible. I thought that I was in a situation where I couldn't find any golem, but there are some very near. So let's just kill those. You have to be careful. They shoot fire. The fire's not... I lagged out and died instantly. Yeah, so that is not fun. I was going to say you have to be careful. The fire is not that dangerous. It's their hit when they hit you that's dangerous. Now I'm going to take a big chance because I need my stuff and like this. Perfect. So I was able to get my stuff. Let's Narrator. Let's just remove this. Narrates all. And let's try again. Narrator off. Waiting for server. See? It was still lagging. Okay, I've been able to kill. So that's a bit stressful when you get lag. But that's five archaic brick. So I only need three more. I just need to not lag out. Because as you've seen, the fire doesn't do much. But when they hit you, that one that's when it hurts. So how much is this? Ten brick. Wow. I'll be honest with you guys. I was not expecting this kind of level of luck. And there's another one right here. I just want to attract them because I want to beat them. <gasps> I hate this. Do you see what happened? He actually, I lagged out. He ran at me and he hurt me really bad. So I'm just going to come back here to try and fight the lag and heal and finish him off just so that I get a bit more. And from what I end up getting, I'll be able to go back and craft the Ember Boar. I don't want to light everything because I actually want to be able to um, get more of these golems. I actually need to fight a lot of them. We're going to need a lot of archaic brick at the end of the day. Mm. When they're not moving, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. And perfect, I got that one. So that's 18 brick. I'm going to go back here just to try and see if I can find one more. Wow, this is a vast cavern system. And no. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up those torches. Because like I just said, I want to get more spawn. And that was the group. So I want to get more to spawn. So I'm going to just take back these torches and make sure that when I come back, there's a chance for more to spawn. While we're here, we're also going to do one quick thing. Amber Boar needs to be at the bottom level. So what I was thinking is, I'm going to continue going down here. And I'm going down to bedrock level. This is actually going to be easier than when we were going up because, well, easier. It's a bit more dangerous because there's always the risk of falling in lava, but it's a bit faster. Oh, what's the Orto Stone again? Let me just check what the Orto Stone was again. It's for the kiln. So yes, I want Orto Stone. Although I don't have to grab it all now. This is something I can do in a time lapse. Let's just continue down. Always this one first, so that I make sure that there's not going to be any lava that I'm falling into. Put a torch, and now let's just put all of my stairs down. So I died, but totally to like. I would say whenever you load into the Exoria Underground or the Exoria Core, just don't be like me. Make sure that you finish loading in before you start attacking some mobs. So I'm just trying to finish this quickly because, like I said, we're going to need to install the bore completely at the uh, Y level zero, like at the bedrock. And this in this game, 
the bedrock is a flat surface so everything's much easier it's not like a very uneven surface surface that always cause you problem when trying to place things down oh come on give me back that ladder and you know what i might have a small problem i don't think i have enough ladders to go down to bedrock and i don't want to so one two three four five six seven good thing i didn't waste time with the ortho stone because i'm getting a lot eight nine ten eleven so yeah i'm going to be missing a little bit of um what's it called i'm going to be missing a little bit of ladder so i need to go back now but we're close to the lower level which means that when we're ready with the bore we'll be able to just finish digging this fairly quickly so let's just get out of here and you know i'm doing this but i don't need this to warp back home it's just i keep forgetting that you can warp from everywhere with the warp stone so let's come back and i'm going to get rid of this basalt fair calcite stone or blendy dolum and ortho stone sandy dirt and blue stone perfect so now that all of this is taken care of let me grab this and oh i have another ladder i don't even know where that ladder came from uh, i'm going to grab these and this because we're going to need some more stairs so we might as well do that quickly I don't even know what I placed down. This was so weird. I placed down a stick on top of a piece of wood. No idea what happened. So let's come back here and do a ladder. And let's make all of this into ladder. Ah, oh, this one is a transform ladder. That's why it looks so weird. Okay, so that's going to be enough for now. Let's do a little bit of crafting because if we're going to go back there to go to the underground, we might as well have the boar finish. So let's do, let's make sure that the quest got detected first of all. It did detect the archaic brick. So let's do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and give us some archaic circuit, which should be detected by the quest. Next step is two mechanical core. So let's search for mechanical core like this oh we need some lead plate i'm gonna need eight lead plate and some item pipe let's do two three full sets of item pipe so i'm gonna need eight nine ten eleven lead plate so let's move this out of the way so four eight nine ten eleven yeah let's do 12 12 it's going it's a better it's an even number. It's not a better number. It's just I'm a fan of even number. So having an even number to me is better. So let's do 12 of this. Just trying to get through it as fast as possible. And these item pipes are actually really good. If it was, if I knew how to filter them, I would probably have used those over using the... Um, bc pipe so let's just come right here and craft some item pipe and like i said i'm going to make four craft of that and now that i have four craft of that i'm going to make two mechanical core which is the second step now we need an ember bore so let's just search it from here the ember bore is oh i'm missing a couple of things that shouldn't take so long so let's go do those two plates right here like this and that's taken care of let's pick where's where did i put the archaic brick not here not here not the archaic brick the uh kamenite so kamenite 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 let's just do quickly like this that's one two three four five perfect we're just doing the minimum because as of now i'm not sure how much of everything i'm going to need so I'm trying to not waste any resource. Ooh, I still need the diamond pickaxe, which means four flake diamond. That might be a problem. No, I, I think I have eight diamonds outside. So let's just go outside and see my diamond stash. Seven. 
And you know, let's grab all of this for now. Let's try and plate some diamonds. We're gonna do this slowly. So that's, wow, four. I got really lucky for that. This is crazy how sometimes you can be so lucky and sometimes not. So I'm gonna take one strand and a set of iron clipper because I need an iron pin, just like that. That's two iron pin, but I need at least one. And now I can come here and I can do the diamond pickaxe, like so. And now I can do the iron bore, the bore, sorry. So this is the ember bore. Let's get rid of all of this. I have the mechanical core, I have the item pipe. I don't need this right now, don't need this <laughs> right now, sorry. I don't need any of this. Wow, coughing much. So now I need an atmospheric gauge and amber shards. So the atmospheric gauge, how do we do that again? Atmospheric gauge. This is important. Oh, I need some kamenite lever. So I need some kamenite plate and a branch and plates are made with two. So I know I'm going to need a couple of plates. So let's just do eight for now and start them cooking. And we're going to wait for one. I'm going to make two sets of lever, I think. I still need two or three things though. So from the item pipe, I can make a item extractor, which means I need black quartz. Do I have black? I do have black quartz. So let's look at the recipe for black quartz. So crushed black quartz goes in here with 1.8. So 1.8, if you put two, that's 3.6. If you put three, that's four, 5.4. 5.4, 6, 7.2, 8, 9. So you get 9 from 5. So let's just go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 in here. So that should technically, <coughs> I believe, give me 16. I'm just going to wait for two of them because I need two for the items. Uh, to make the extractors. I want to make two extractor for now. That's all I need. That's going to be one extractor. And come on, let's go. Give me my second one. That's going to be my second extractor. Oh, not this. My second extractor. Perfect. Now we can go back here. I hope that I still have some chest left somewhere. Because I'm going to need at least two chests. Oh, one chest. You know what? I say that, but there's a chest waiting for me outside that's empty. So I can also grab this chest. So let's grab this chest. And now let's go back here and I'm going to grab... Mm, that's 64. I'm going to grab two stacks. But now I see that I'm charcoal is going to be a problem pretty soon. So let's go back here. And we need some Kamenite lover. Oh, I still need to go back here and grab my actual Kamenite plate. So now that I'm back here, I need some Kamenite lever. Like I said, I was going to make two. Two sets, perfect. Now I'm going to make the ember gauge, just one. Grab the Kamenite lever. And now from these item pipe, like I said, I want to make two uh, item extractors. So that's going to be one and two. And so bore, mechanical core on top, two chest. Kamenite lover. Yeah, I have absolutely everything that I need. Let me just j dump a couple of things right here because I don't want to bring everything to the other side like this. Oh, I don't need that copper. And we're ready to go. So let's go back to Exoria Underground. And let's go down this way. And then we can go to the lower level of this. Uh... Perfect. So we still need to go down seven. Well, that's one. That's two. Well, no, that's one. We still have to go down six. <clears throat> and when there's two left, I'm going to put a, no, three left. I'm going to put a torch. And that's going to be like the entrance to where we're going. Oh my God. Did I have to go into Ornblende Dolum? Ooh, some ash. That's kind of surprising. Anyway, so let's put that right here. Let's go with the ladder so that we can come back out of here. And you know what? Let's use this 
change ladder. I don't know why they have a different look, but having two different one in my inventory is not something that I want. So let's do this. And we're now at um, Y level zero. So we're ready to put this down. I'm just going to open it while well, I say that, but we might not even be in the right place. So we're going to do a quick check and I do hope we're in the right place because I don't want to spend hours fine searching for this. Oh, so if you look at the Ember Boar, it is absolutely horrendously poor right now. The atmospheric gauge tells me that there's almost no Ember in here. So one of the things that we need to do is it works by chunk. So I'm going to activate... Oh, this is... No, don't give me the stupid block issue again. I... This is probably something I'm going to have to do in the time lapse because of the block breaking bug where they reappear somewhere else. This is really annoying. Uh, hopefully we're lucky now. So I'm going to press F9 because I'd like to see... Oh, there's. I think that means it's a center. So let's just go this way. And just like open up like this. Now I don't know. Oh, these are ash block. That's why. So these need the other one, which I never remember. Okay. This is not a good sign. Seeing this means that there is a big potential <laughs> that there might be some. Oh, no, not for those. That there might be some um, lava back here. So let's just come back to torches and let's just make sure we're putting a torch. And it's still not good right here. So I'm still trying to go in one direction only for now. And I'm hoping to not fall into lava. Wow, that's a lot of lava. I don't know if this will break the Ornblende Dolum. And if it does, I think it's just going to waste it. Oh no, it does work. That is actually kind of cool. Now, this obsidian though is going to be a nightmare and a problem by itself. So I'm just going to have to try and break this one and try to navigate around. But what I'm trying to do right now is to get out of this. Um, huh, I actually forgot the term. I'm trying to get out of the. Uh, oh, wow. Just like forget it. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find the next chunk, chunk, chunk finally remembered that was way more painful than it needed to be let's put another torch right here and i'm probably going to clean up this access in a time lapse for sure but for now i'm just trying to move out of here as fast as possible and just break everything and i'm trying to actually see the border of another chunk perfect so that's another yellow line which means the end of a chunk, or it feels like I'm still in the middle of a chunk. I thought the yellow lines were a chunk. You know what? Let's F9 again. Oh, so I'm in two different chunk. So this chunk has no good. This chunk is no good. And this chunk is no good. Oh, no, sorry. So the yellow is the middle of a chunk, of course. I'm just being confused again, as always. So I'm going to try actually the other direction. So let's go this direction so that we can leave this chunk. Ugh. This Orn Blende, man, this Orn Blende is just pure nightmare. I And I don't understand what's the point of it. It's not even adding anything. It's not like it's making things better or that it's useful for something. It's just purely 100% useless and takes all of your excavation time. So I'm really not happy about that. Uh, I'm going to put a torch right here because I'm getting scared of the Gru. And let's just continue down that way. I'm trying to visit as many chunk as possible, as fast as possible, because the ember, the quantity of embers is really purely a chunk thing. Perfect. So let's go into that chunk. And let's open this all up. And now let's pray for better. Wow. This is just horrible. I'm really not being lucky with the chunk. So I'm going to continue going down this way. 
it's only 16 block and I hopefully am not finding any orn blende so I'm just going to continue down this way hopefully the next chunk over is gonna have more and to be honest if the next one doesn't have more I'm probably just going to put down the ember bore in here and for the time being live with the fact that I get so much less from here because like I said I don't want to be wasting all of this time just digging so just going to the next chunk as fast as possible to try and find if we're luckier with the next chunk perfect so we're arriving at next chunk let's just clean that up and another trick is to follow chunk lines so that at least when you arrive you get like four chunks in a corner well you're you're in two one so you're only finding two new one but you're finding two new one at a time which actually saves sometimes so this one wow i'm literally just having no luck whatsoever and the reason i'm saying that is that the atmospheric gauge is giving the same readout so here 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 and back here just the same result so i went two chunk down that way you know what let's just try going down that way once one chunk to see if we get any better luck if we do well good if not like i said we're going to stop doing this and just set up in the current chunk that we're in well the the nearest one to us because i want to save some time okay so this is a different chunk for sure and now the fact that i'm seeing some red is making me really wonder oh it's because it's a corner oi sometimes logic you know okay so this is literally one two three four chunk so let's look at the atmospheric gauge not good not good not good not good so you know what too bad at least i'm going to be getting some resources here so let's go down here and let's place the machine right here i'm gonna break down here hopefully it's not where there's too much orn blende and i need to open up a minimum so let's see how big do i need this to be of course my torch is not going to be in the right place so i'm going to put it the other side because i still need to open up this way a little bit i want a five by five by five i think let's break all of this so that should be one two three four five across perfect and now <coughs> three four five and just open up the ash part i'm going to take care of that later so another one and another one this way perfect and now we can put the ember bore so this machine is really cool i actually prefer it one level up because i like seeing the teeth so you go like this put a block put the machine here and now you have to break the block um and well so you can still access the block even though it looks iffy you do you're able to have access to the block so now that this is done i still need to go a bit higher because this is way too claustrophobic let's break this and this and let's break the next level right here one high two high perfect and now we can just equalize equalize all that by going once like this and oh i still need i still need to go two i right here so one and two and just making some space so we can actually see and access the machine easier so one like this and one like this right here and putting down a chest and being able to pick all of this is going to help although i say that but i kind of forgot that i do have a lot of ash so if i do this i can actually transform the ash and save myself a little bit of room ah so now I should be able to pick up all of that okay so this is much better perfect so now that we have the bore uncovered let me just clear one more piece of wall right here right here and back there just to make it the five by five by five that i wanted from the beginning then we're going to build a little way up 
I'm really so I lose the Orn Blende when I use the the hammer on the Orn Blende uh, idolium. It's not uh, diamond, so I lose them. But they're worthless. There's nothing you can do with them, so I don't mind losing them. But the fact that they all break and that I don't have to like waste time because it breaks all five when breaking only one, it's totally worth it. I'm just removing the last pieces. Oh, it's the block moving again. This is really annoying. See, now they're down here. And you know what? Let's use a stone hammer, which should make them completely disappear because it's not supposed to be able to break them. And we're just going to be able to work from that. So let's just break that. Perfect. Now, like I said, I'm going to break, uh, build a little step so that we can go up here on top of the machine. So this is the only access point. If you put this mechanical core on top, it adds all of these access points. So we need one in and one out. So let's put an item extractor right here and a pipe. And now here, let's put a pipe and an item extractor. So these are the two sides of the machine. I need two chests now, one here and one here. And <clears throat> this is the extraction side. So let's put a lever, 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 lever right here. And this is the extraction site. So start this, start this. <laughs> the machine's ready to be used. So what we're going to do now is that... Oh, I really hate that stupid bug. I was on top of it. So because I'm on top of it, when I right click, it makes it look as if I'm clicking that instead of clicking the this here. So we're going to put two charcoal. And voila, look at this. That's why I put it one up. If you don't put it one up, it works, but you don't see this animation. But this now starts digging. And since this is extracting, already we have an ember grit. But ember grit is not what we want. If we look at the quest, we need ember shards. So I'm just going to stay here a little while. And the only reason I'm staying here is that I want at least one ember shards. Once we have the one ember shard, I'm going to be good and I'm going to feel comfortable going away. And now we're going to need to let this work. So this is the one thing that I've seen on YouTube that I've seen people do, but I've never done myself. Here, oh, not here. So here, if you click this claim chunk, I think you can click this and claim. So I'm going to claim the four chunk around. You know what? Let's just make sure. And I think that what this does is that as it's claimed, it becomes chunks that will always be chunk loaded. And that seems to have worked for other people. Like I'm not, like I said, it's one of those things I'm not 100% sure. So I cannot guarantee that it works. But I guess we're going to find out. If I leave here and come back in 20 minutes and there's nothing in the chest, well, obviously something went wrong. And these, I'm breaking these because I'm waiting for my Ember Shards. But if I want all of this obsidian, I'll come back with my uh, my cobblestone breaker thingy and I'll grab it this way. Um, this is not being lucky and it might be because of how low this atmospheric gauge is here. But that honestly has to be extremely unlucky. Because in my other playthrough, I went and I dig like <coughs> six or seven chunk. And after six or seven chunk, I had found a chunk that was full with the atmospheric gauge. So maybe one thing I'm going to do in my time lapse. Oh, I hate this. Maybe one thing I'm going to do in my time lapse is walk down the cavern and put down some um, torches. And as I walk down the cavern, what I'm thinking is that maybe I'm going to be lucky and I'm going to end up finding easily a chunk where the atmospheric gauge is full. And using the full atmospheric gauge chunk, I'm going to be able to just uh, from there go down to bedrock and just harvest that. You know what? I want to try something. If I put an orn blende right there and I use the stone armor, will that break all six and make them disappear? Because if yes, that's a real bargain. Oh, yes. Okay. So that's actually an extraction technique. Make sure that the center is made out of the strongest material and we'll harvest everything around in one go. So that's a good tip and trick right there. So let's do this and last one so that at least all of this is going to be fully emptied, uh, fully open. 
And then we're going to check for the Ember Shard and hopefully it's going to be there. Because like I said, I really want that quest to be over. That actually is kind of the length of an all, a whole episode just getting that. So, yes! Oh no! Is it, does it count? Yes, it counts. Okay. I thought it didn't count because it was a smaller one because these small Ember Shards make Ember Crystal. I thought it needed an Ember Crystal. So at least it's not a lot, but at least we've got some. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything from here and I'm going to use the warp stone and I'm going to head right back home. So this is something and remove these chunk thing. So this is one thing that I'm going to leave be for now, but we completely know what to do now. At some oh hash ash not this. I just want to grab the ash. I shouldn't have pushed it in here because the ash is actually something that I can harvest so not this not this um not this perfect so what i meant by that is i'm going to take the ash and i'm going to put it in here so that it gets processed so ash ash and ash perfect so like i was saying we know that amber is working that <coughs> we are getting some amber albeit very small and very slow which is annoying but we can actually look for another one during a time lapse which brings us back to this quest. So now this is done, we need to get to the next quest, which this one is big. This one we need an Ember Activator, an Ember Emitter, an Ember Receptor. The Ember Activator is the one that generates the power for Ember. The Ember Emitter is the one that sends power to machine, the Receptor is the one that receives. And then we need two Melter, and then we need a Mixer Centrifuge, and that's not counting the stamp and the stem base to actually be able to do something with this. Which is why I wanted to start the um, Amber as soon as possible because these little crystals that we found right here, they're like 50 or 60 Amber power each. So that's not a lot. We're going to run, that, run out way fast. So I wanted to get this done so that we can come back here. And this was the better piping. So I should have done that quest kind of first. Oh, some sort of black quartz. I think I can use that for some better piping. These pipes have some limitation though. An item transfer might help with intersection and force insertion. So we want some fluid pipe and some fluid extractor also. Let's look at fluid pipe. Fluid pipe is made from tin and tin plate. So I'm just going to make two sets of those because I don't need that much. One, two, one, two, three, four. And let's go back here. Do I still have? Yes, I still have my tone, stone hammer. That's going to be one plate, two plate. Let's go back here and make two sets of fluid pipe. And now we're going to go back there. So technically, I could replace this. Like, I don't have a filtering, so I don't, I don't know how to filter with amber, so I can't replace this part. But for the other part, what am I missing? Black quartz. So I should have a couple of black quartz here. Let's make two fluid extractor. So this I could replace. So instead of having this big engine and everything, I would have a way more compact setup. Although I say a way more compact setup, there is only one problem with these pipes. <coughs> is that, <coughs> sorry, the item extractor doesn't insert. To be able to move I mean more item extractor when I wanted to make fluid extractor. So what I was trying to say is that, oh, it's still making some, is that the fluid extractor, uh, the extractors need also a pipe to connect to what, wherever you're going. So when you're doing this, you actually always need an extractor and a pipe, just to explain to you. So if I do this, let, oh, this is an extractor, but it doesn't connect to this. It won't insert in the next item. I still need to take one fluid pipe and put one fluid pipe after like this to be able to insert. That's why I put my two item one away in the other, um, in the other, in the setup of the boring machine. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Uh, next thing is an item transfer. What's an item transfer? Item transfer. So that's four lead two item pipe, two lead plates. So that should be easy enough. Let's just do that to complete this quest. I have this weird little thing stuck down my throat, which is really annoying. 
and I can't get rid of it. And before I started recording, I tried to cuff it completely out, but that never worked. So this is the item transfer. And see, I it doesn't seem to be configurable in any way. I have to do some research on that, but I'm not quite sure how it works and what it's supposed to be doing. But at least it's done. It says might help with intersection and forced insertion, but maybe that's what you put when you need pipes going down this way and that way, or when you need to split in four, but it's not very clear. And anyway, all of my pipe setup is done for now. So this is done and all of this is going to take a lot of work. If you look at Amber Activator, Amber Activator needs the stars and stone and some item pipe and some Kamenite brick slab and then some amber um what where is it amber receptor see it's two lead and kamenite plate and amber shard it makes two at a time the emitter is two kamenite plate two copper and amber shard so right here if we wanted to make at least four of these we already need one two three four shards for the amber activator we don't need any shards for the melter let's just look at melter melter the melter, we need just, hello, we need some stars and stone, some kamenite brick and some bins, which are made of stars and stone. So we're going to need to go hunt for more stars and stone. We need to make two melter. Then we need a mixer centrifuge. Mixer centrifuge is, what does it need? It needs stars and stone and a mechanical core. So I need to kill more golem. Unless, do I still have enough of these? Oh, it's right here. Yes, 10. So I have enough just for that. <clears throat> but that's not, <laughs> sorry, that's not even enough. I still need a stamper, which needs sarsen, kamenite brick, and a piston, and a stamp base, sarsen. So I just need a lot of kamenite, and I need the stamp. So basically, I just need a ton of kamenite, and I might even have enough sarsen stone. I still have, no, that's basalt don't know where my source and stone is but i know that i had collected quite a few and worst case scenario i was in a spot where there was more so 24 41. so you know what i think that waiting for the amber activation uh, the amber shards i might have enough of the rest so this is going pretty well i would say oh that's the other one i wanted to do I want to do this because I want to open up one last thing. So this is going to be the last quest of the night before we get into the time lapse. So we need we need two mana diamond. It says one, but I know we're going to need two. So let's just take two diamonds and we're going to come right here. And I'm going to make take one of these infinite source pool that I grab one right here. And I'm going to put down in the middle of the place because it doesn't really matter. You drop stop this got my diamond you drop a diamond in it and it transforms it into a minor diamond i did two and the reason i did two is that we want now an alchemy catalyst alchemy catalyst right here which needs living rock gold ingot <coughs> and mana diamond so living rock is made the same way as we were doing these uh wood the last time but with stone so i just need to find where i kept a stack of stone so I'm going to make take eight stone like this, come back here. I'm going to put those around a lily, pure white lily, pure daisy, sorry, and let that transform. And then we need also a mana tablet. So if I look at mana tablet, mana tablet needs a, a mana diamond and eight living rocks. So I might as well grab some more stone because I just discovered I'm going to need a second recipe of this. Let's grab eight more and let's go back outside. We're going to set those around the next pure daisy like so. And now we're just waiting for this to transform, <clears throat> which is taking a little while. While we're here, we might just collect our potatoes. Wow. I have no clue where my potatoes went. I don't have an item vacuum anywhere nearby. And if it was item vacuum, it should at least be going toward the wall. What if I do? Yeah, they do seem to disappear. 
Well, this is kind of strange, but I don't know what's going on. So let's not waste any time on that. We'll get back to that later. But that is absolutely strange. Unless it got taken by one of those machines. Nope, no idea. So I literally have no idea what happened with those. This is kind of weird. While we're waiting here for this to transform, we can make the mana tablet. Oh, I just grabbed the wheat. You know what? Because of the weird behavior here, I'm not going to take any chance. I'm not going to craft this in here. I'm going to craft that inside where I'm safe. I don't want to risk this just disappearing because the mana tablet, kind of expensive. Same thing for the um, alchemy setup. So let's go in here. <clears throat> and now that we're safe, let's make a mana tablet. Just one. And let's make an alchemy, alchemy something, alchemy catalyst, like this. And now here's why this was important, why I wanted to get it ASAP. I'm going to break this. Just give me back my stuff. And I'm going to open the floor, put the alchemy catalyst under. And now if you put the everlasting pool of guilt under it, see the, back, the underground, well, the bottom changed. And now, when you come here, you can see what you can do. You can transform these flower, which is really not important. But you can transform rotten flesh into leather. All of the wood into a different type of wood. <clears throat> and all of the sapling into a different sapling. You can undo ch uh, blocks, which you usually can't. So that's kind of good. We can make ice out of snow. We can make stone brick into chiseled stone brick, which is just weird. We can transform the fish into a different kind of fish. Oh, we can make cocoa bean into seed. Well, that could help us with any missing seed if we were missing any seed. We can do blaze rod into nether wart or gunpowder into flint. So there's a lot of thing that we can transform using that. But that's something that later on is going to become more useful. We can make easy sand. Oh, we can transform terracotta into red sand. So if you remember, we had one of these things that where we needed to make red sand for red sand infusion. So we can make terracotta by cooking some uh, clay. And that's how we're going to get our red sand. Let's just continue. Uh, we can transform a floral into a vase bee. That's not really important. Some flower transformation. Uh, dead bush. No, that's not important. But we can get a dead bush, which we're going to need for the bees. Granite and two adesite. Those are the normal transformation. But all of these are infinite because we have infinite quantity of uh, mana. So all of these transformation are going to be easy to be done if we need them. That's one of the things that I wanted to unlock. And I wanted to unlock it because I know that we're going for life infusion. After this part, I know we're going to need some uh, mana to make some rotten flesh into some leather. So that's really where we are right now. It's waiting while well, waiting. It's more ember. It's really everything's about ember. But without a lot of ember shard, there's not much we can do. So we're going to warp back right now to the Exoria Underground. We're going to go see how many ember shards we have. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into um, a time lapse and in the time lapse that's what I'm going to do I'm going to kill some more of these golem and I'm going to explore the cavern with oh, I didn't keep the atmospheric gauge on me but I'm going to keep the atmospheric gauge on me because I see this is no bueno no bueno at all I put two stacks of charcoal and all I got is three ember uh, at least an ember crystal is giving me six shard, but I got an ember grip and this so this is not chunk loaded. That's all I can think of saying because if that was chunk loaded, I would have cut them back here and everything claim chunk trap clan. So these claim chunk claim. I really don't know why this is not chunk loaded. Are you sure you want to open the following uh, chunk claiming? So I'm going to go read that on my own time. But uh, I would have thought that this would have continued. I was expecting to come here and have like at least 20 or 30 amber crystal or four, 20 or 30, I mean, amber shards. The fact that I came back and now it appears 
means that there was a chunk problem. And I don't like the idea of having a chunk problem, first of all, and I don't like the idea of having to be limited by this, because the next step of this uh, mod pack is all embers, so not having a lot of embers is not good enough. So you know what, I'm going to end the episode on this right here, and then I'm going to go back home, grab my, um, my ember my little thingy that tells me if there's ember and then I'm gonna go back up kill some golem and find a better chunk and once I find a better chunk I'm going to dig down with the ladders and set up on the downstairs there and then I'm gonna set a waystone here because I don't want to have to dig down every time or walk far so I'm gonna set up a waystone to bring me to my ember ore. So guys, there's still a lot to do and we're getting into the next step of this mod pack which is Ember and more progression into more tech. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!